few days had passed since Gordon's event on the rails at the station, and the smoke box was feeling clogged up, so his fireman checked to see what was the matter. Something in your tubes is causing the smoke box to clog up, but we'll just have to deal with it today, since there's nothing we can do about it right now. Well, that's just perfect. First the frosty rails, and now this. As if my luck isn't getting worse at all. Heavens no, Henry. Your Topham head will never approve of that. He never liked it when you did. Later that day, Gordon backed up to his express train for the day. He was nervous about the smoke box, but he kept his courage going. At least I'm not going to slip on the rails today. But I don't think the passengers will be happy if I'm not on time. <laughs> to Edward Station without any trouble. His firemen tried to make some fire so they can go up the hill. Hmm, I don't like this new type of coal, but it's the least we got for now. We'll use the other coal tomorrow. But what they didn't know was that there was a couple who just got married was on the station. They were waiting for the train that goes to the airport for their honeymoon instead of steam coming out. Gordon blew smoke and it went all over the married couple. Before they could say anything, Gordon left without noticing the smoke coming out of him. When he got to the next station, the inspector was there. He had some news from Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt told me to tell you that he had just had some complaints from a couple who was previously at the station now is now covered in smoke because of you and he doesn't want any more complaints tonight. And he walked away. Gordon was not happy and spoke to Boko. This is probably the worst time of my life. First the slippery rails, and now I have black smoke coming out while my tubes are blocked. What's next? It's not my fault that this new coal is dirty. Never mind about that, Gordon. You just need to move on and be more careful. I mean, where would I be if I listened to people calling me smelly? It's easy for you to say. The smell doesn't get on people's clothes. After the station, Gordon tried to be more careful on his way to the sheds. But today was not his lucky day at all. Sir Topham had the station trying to apologize for the mess. Just then, Gordon ran past by the station. Smoke covered on not just the couple again, but also the Topham hat now. When he made it to the shed, the same inspector came to talk to him. There's been another complaint about your smoke problem. This time it's from Sir Topham Hatt. He is not happy with you, and he wants you to fix it before it gets worse. When the inspector left, Gordon was even more cross. Well, that's just great. I was being extra careful today. This is another worst day of my life. Don't worry, Gordon. At least we'll use the other coal and make sure your tubes are clean by tomorrow. But that didn't cheer him up. He just hoped that the next few days aren't as bad as his recent events. 